Hello, my name is Kerry Inez and I'm the National Head of Technical Education at the Education and Training Foundation. And as it's July the 15th, ETF colleagues and I are joining the FE sector and wider UK and international colleagues in celebrating the United Nations World Youth Skills Day for 2021. This day is of particular significance this year as we pay tribute to the resilience, motivation, determination and creativity of young learners throughout these challenging times. Individuals who have persevered in the face of adversity, often risen to the challenges and provided support in their communities, and in many cases expressed interest in skill shortage industry sectors when they've been inspired by the work of healthcare workers, research and development colleagues, people working in engineering and manufacturing and under other sector careers. And they're stepping up to the challenge during the COVID-19 pandemic. Technical education and vocational education and training systems have adapted and they will continue to evolve to address education and economic recovery. ETF continues to facilitate FE workforce development to support FE providers to deliver excellence in technical and vocational education and training so that we can develop learners' knowledge, skills, behaviours and competencies, preparing them for the world of work and also the work of the world. There have been so many lessons learnt that will help us to modify the way we deliver equitable and technical education equitable technical education and training so that we can make the most of everyone's skills and talents. And just one of these lessons has been to actively listen to learners who are our future global citizens so we can support them to realise their aspirational goals. And why? Because they are the future, because they are the workforce of the future.